Back to the latest developments in Hurricane Milton, now a Category 1 storm, but Milton made landfall as a Category 3. As you heard Matt say, they're near, near Siesta Key, just a little bit south of Sarasota and 70 miles south of Tampa. This is a live look in Tampa right now, obviously from inside a vehicle, probably the best place to be right now, especially to stay dry. Yeah, so earlier in the night, strong winds ripped the top off of Tropicana Field. That's a Major League Baseball stadium. Now, the state had planned to use that as a staging area for up to 10,000 people and first responders. We know they were not there when this uh, roof was torn off, but leaders are saying the worsening conditions right now as uh, waiting for the rescuers to be able to go in when it becomes daylight. What happens often is people say, oh, gosh, this is really getting bad, so then they want to leave. Unfortunately, you got flooding, you got you got trees down, you got power lines down. As you know, we've had unbelievable number of tornadoes around the around the state today. So you have no choice. You have to stay in place now, and you have to hunker down, and you have to keep yourself alive. So we right now we know there were fatalities, as we mentioned, specifically from some of those tornadoes that began right before Milton made landfalls landfall last night. No word yet on the areas those fatalities came from, but we know that there were even tornadoes in uh, Orlando, wow. West Palm, all the way on the other coast there wow. last night before the storm made landfall. Well, we know at least two million people are without power and storm surges are expected to reach up to 13 feet.